Hey guys, it's Neil B and we are here for an amazing launch event. We are here for Proud Ally, which is a brand new grassroots organization which involves visual media to help civil rights groups, including the LGBTQ community. So we're very excited. There's going to be a lot of guests. We're going to see a lot of performers and a lot of support. And what better way to do it than at the Stonewall Inn. So come on, follow me, and we're going to see all the fun. issue of our generation, and it is what inspired a group of artists and activists a year ago to found Proud Ally. Because most of us work in performing arts and film, lit video and design, our mission was to support, to promote straight supportive gay rights through visual media. To move beyond anonymous signature petitions, uh, to lend a voice to the face and stories of, of straight people in this country who support equal rights. My mother's best friend, Donald, was a gay interior decorator. Donald died at AIDS before Ronald Reagan even publicly acknowledged its existence. So his memory is something that keeps me going uh, every day. Right away, I come up on stage to she lost last comic standing, basically. That's a really cold. This next act almost broke a thousand on her SATs. I, I do, I get seasonally slutty. And I've been doing things lately I would never normally do. This is totally true. I hooked up a couple weeks ago with a French guy. Has anybody, is anybody here French? No? Okay. Hooked up with a French guy. I thought he was like so hot, but that accent doesn't do it for me. Like on a girl, the French accent's super sexy, right? But a guy, it just, like, it makes my vagina shut like a steel trap. For sure. <laughs> I just went to the Jewish homeland. Has anybody ever been to Miami? <laughs> They should recruit for the army there, holy shit. I got stung by a jellyfish Ow. there, yeah. Or at least that's what the guy who's peeing on me told me. Uh, I don't even remember going in the water. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Yeah, marriage equality is very important to both of us, and we have agreed not to get married until the same-sex marriage law is passed. Um, I think it's really important uh, that uh, straight couples realize what you're participating in when you get married, when everybody's not allowed to get married. It's like, it's you're participating in. If everybody can't do it, it's just not equal, and like you wouldn't eat at a segregated restaurant, and you shouldn't get married when everybody can't get married. So, I'm really happy to be here, thank you. Um, I went to a waxing in Queens, and I don't know, are there any, all the waxers in Queens are Russian. Did anybody, does anybody else have any, are there any Russian waxers here? No, because they're out pole dancing. It's like a skill set they have. They wax and they strip. I'm like, oh my God, who knew what a gift from God this culture had. I actually never really fight with my boyfriend. We don't fight about anything because we've worked really hard on learning how to compromise. The agreement we came to was um, I agreed to support his sports teams. That's very important to him. And in exchange, he agreed to stop having sex with me while I was asleep. <laughs> so that's a big one. I thought that was good. Uh, I was like, babe, I'm not in college anymore. You just can't slip it in when I'm passed out. You know what I mean? I think the value of Proud Ally is that it represents an attitude more than anything else. And the attitude is, we're going to do the right thing even if 
it's not the most popular thing to do. I didn't have the maturity or the character then to admit that I was gay. It didn't happen for two more years when I was a sophomore at the academy. But I remember thinking, I am in the middle of a place that hates gay people, that hates everything gay people stand for, and that it's supported by the government, it's supported by the military administration, and it's supported by this academy. And it was a scary place to be. And let me tell you something, just this event tonight, it's like a mini GLAAD Awards or something. It's an organization to stay with and to belong to because it is so right. And um, thank you all so very much for having me. I'm a, I'm a huge TV person. Any other TV people out there who love TV? Oh my God, I love television. Actually, I work in TV during the day. I work for Comedy Central. People say, Sean, you work at Comedy Central. Everyone there must be so funny. Everyone there must be so funny, which is so true because I used to work at Lifetime where everyone's a victim. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, do you guys want to hear the top ten reasons I should have known I was gay before I came out of the closet? Yeah. Yes. Do you want to hear them, people? Yes. I need some excitement. Yeah. Top ten reasons. Number ten. Uh, my I watched Dirty Dancing seven times in one weekend, wishing I was Jennifer Grey. <laughs> Number ten. Number nine. Um, people used to say to my parents, "You have such a lovely daughter." <laughs> Number six. My first job was at a truck stop. <laughs> Gay men and slutty girls get that one. What else? I, oh, I'm gonna tell you what the first time I ever did acid. Do you guys ever hear that story? Yeah! He hit acid and I was like, this is fun. I feel really good. But I don't really see anything. He said, do you want another hit? I was like, sure. <laughs> so I take another hit. And then he's like, Sean, you haven't slept all night. How are you gonna stay awake for work? I was like, I don't know. He said, how about crystal meth? All right! I walk into the doors of Victoria's Secret and I say, Can I help you find something? <laughs> you look to be about a C cup, right? <laughs> Would you like me to administer a fitting or... Are you part dragon? I, uh... <laughs> Why is RuPaul talking to me? <laughs> We live in a world today where we have uh, countries that it's on the law that you can execute somebody for practicing homosexuality, and that's uncalled for. We live in our very own country, the land of the free, where they can vote to 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 uh, ban love, to ban love, and that to me is a disgrace. But my God loves me, and my God loves the love I have, and my God loves the love that all of you have, and. You know, and to be, to have the Proud Ally launch in, a, in an establishment like this, Stonewall, where a fabulous drag queen threw a brick on the, the night Judy Garland died and started it all, it's a pleasure to be here. And I thank you all, and I thank everybody who spoke tonight. Thank you.